Hello friends, my name is Shayla and today I am here to film my July 2020 TBR for you. This TBR will include my picks for Coreadathon and for the Reading Rush, so we will have a couple of readathons that I'm participating in in July, and other than that, the few other things that I love to read. So quickly, I always like to start with what I plan on rereading for the month, and that actually does tie into my buddy reads with Lindsay over at Lindsay Ted. So we'll start with the novel. So I will be rereading Crown of Feathers, and Lindsay and I are going to buddy read this in preparation to finally read Heart of Flames, both by Nikki Pau Preto in the same series. This is book two. It's a hefty one. So we're going to spend most of the month working on these. I am genuinely excited for the journey that's going to be this. I remember really enjoying Crown of Feathers when I read it, so I'm really excited to read it again in preparation so everything's nice and fresh before I jump into Heart of Flames. So that's going to be my reread pick for the month of July. Next it's time to pick the manga series I'm going to be rereading. I really hope it's another short one. I don't have too many short ones left in here, so we'll see what happens. So Neon Genesis Evangelion. This one... This is a 15 volume mecha series. I do have them in these omnibus formats. So this will be a journey to reread this month. If you guys are interested in a reaction vlog for me going through this for the second time, let me know. So I'm quickly gonna go over my picks for the Koreadathon. This is hosted by Monica Kim and Books with Chloe. They will be linked down below. So you can definitely go and check them out and get more details on the readathon specifically. I'm not sure what challenges these fit, or anything of the like. I just have a couple of these that are Korean based that I really want to get read. So I'm going to read them during Koreadathon rather than participating in the specific challenges because I know that I won't be able to participate in all of the challenges. So I figured I would just spend this time to read some Korean literature. So first up we have Frankly in Love by David Yoon. This is a contemporary, I got it when it first came out so I have the pretty blue sprayed edges and I just have not gotten to it yet. I believe this is a YA contemporary romance. Um, two friends, one fake dating scheme, what could possibly go wrong? And I believe they're fake dating each other, but they both like people who aren't Korean, and then they end up starting to like each other. I believe that's the premise on this one. I can't remember for sure. Next up we have I'll Be The One. You guys have heard me talking about this a lot on the channel lately. Obviously we're following a plus size main character, which we love to see it, and it centers around idol culture and a lot of things like that. And it just appeals to me a lot. This cover makes me super happy to look at. We're gonna read it. And then last but not least, I'm going to make a second attempt at Anna Kay. I started this during, I don't remember what readathon it was. I started it during that, got about 50 pages in and wasn't sure. And so I put it down because I wasn't feeling it at the time, but I do wanna make another attempt. And if I don't enjoy it this time, it's going to be a hard DNF because clearly I won't be able to get into it. So let's see, how far into it did I get? Yeah, I got that far in. So not that far, but I was really struggling with it. So I put it down for the time and I'm hoping that I can handle it this time around. Next up, let's talk about what I'm planning on reading for the Reading Rush. This is taking place later in July. Um, the dates for the readathons that I'm participating in and stuff will all be linked down below as well as the Reading Rush's YouTube page so you can get all the details specifically there as well. So challenge number one for the Reading Rush is to read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone. So for those of you who are unaware, I have a birthday in about a month. I'm an August baby and so the birthstone for August is peridot or kind of this light greenish kind of color. So I will be reading The Reckless Bride by Stephanie Lawrence. This is one I've had on my shelf for a long time. I picked it up used and it's one that I've just been meaning to get to and this is the perfect excuse to pick it up. The second challenge is to read a book that starts with the word the. So this one doesn't technically start with the word the but it has the word the in the title, so I'm still counting it. I know they're not gonna police my TBR or anything, but this is Queen of the Conquered by Case and Calendar. This is one I've really wanted to get to and soon, and so this is my excuse to pick it up. This could work for another challenge. Like a bunch of these are gonna overlap challenges. I mean, technically the previous one could count for this challenge as well. So I'm just gonna read as much as I can in the week and hope over all the challenges are covered. Challenge number three is to read a book that is inspired by a movie you've already seen. So this one's a bit of a stretch, <laughs> but I'm going with it anyway. So we're doing The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn. With this one, it is a persuasion retelling in space. 
I have read the original Persuasion and I've watched the Persuasion adaptations. So I'm counting it. We're just going with it. Okay, okay. Challenge number four is to read the first book that you touch. Now, I did the selection process a little interestingly, so I will insert the clip here where I chose my choice. Okay, friends, here are six titles that I have been neglecting. This is for the challenge of the book you touch first. I'm doing my own little spin on it, so there are six titles. Um, we're going to start with the graphic novel over here being one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, computer, choose a number between one and six. Your random number between one and six is one. Okay, so the no the number was one. So it is White Sand Volume 3, which I have sorely been neglecting to get to, so now I have the perfect excuse. So as you can see from that clip, I picked up White Sand Volume 3. This is something I've been meaning to get to for ages, and it's just time for me to get along and read White Sand Volume 3. Challenge number five is to read a book completely outside of your house. For that, I've chosen a volume of manga, and that will be Phantom Tales of the Night Volume 3. Again, another one I've just been meaning to get to and haven't yet. But manga is really easy for me to read outside of the house, and I will have a work day in that week, so this will be what I take with me to work to read that day. Challenge number six. Read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. And for me, that's historical Highlander romances. So we're going to be reading A Hunting for a Highlander by Lindsay Sands. I've, I've had this for a while. It's just time for me to pick it up. And, you know, he's got a kilt on. Like, let's just read it and have fun. And then the last challenge is to read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. Well, I'm... I just counted that as in a place where you don't live and so for this I'm going to be reading Rogue Princess by B.B. Myers. I picked this up earlier this year and just have not gotten around to reading it yet. I've been meaning to get to it for a long time and so it's just time for me to pick this one up. This is a YA fantasy. Princess Delia knows her duty. She must choose a prince to marry and secure an alliance to save her failing planet, yet she secretly dreams of true love and feels there must be a better way. I mean, this sounds right up my alley. His Sounds like a YA fantasy romance. We love to see it. Okay, so let's talk about the other things that I hope to read this month. There aren't too many. So first up, I'm gonna mention that I will be reading book two in the Spellmonger series that is War Mage. I will have a dedicated review for Spellmonger coming up soon. So keep your eyes out for that. That's gonna be filmed within the next couple of days. So some other books I'm hoping to pick up are Fumbled by Alexa Martin. I really enjoyed spoiler alert for my June wrap-up. I read Intercepted and really enjoyed it. And I think I'm going to enjoy this one even more because it has that single parent romance aspect to it. These are ones where it's women and football players. So I'm really excited to continue on. Next up, I plan on digging into Crossroads of Twilight by Robert Jordan. I don't know if I will complete this in July, but I'm definitely going to get it started. This is book 10 in the Wheel of Time, and we are definitely well on our way towards the end. I think I've got this one and one more before I'm into the ones where Brandon Sanderson helped finish off the series. So yes, I'm excited to keep going. And then I hope to continue on in my Black Dagger Brotherhood series, reading Lover Avenged and Lover Mine, books seven and eight in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. If you have missed out on this vlog series that I've been doing reactions to, I will leave that linked in the cards for you. And the other thing that I'm actually currently in the middle of is The Best Thing by Mariana Zapata. I'm not sure I'm going to get this finished before the end of June. I just started this audiobook and Mariana Zapata books are pretty long, so I'm not sure I will have that finished before the end of June. So I'm going to put that on my July TBR just because I think I will still be reading it into the early part of July. And so guys, that is everything that I plan on reading in the month of July. Um, I know it looks hefty, but it doesn't feel hefty, as funny as that sounds, because a lot of that, you know, that's two readathons, so those will be focused reading. Again, all the detail for all the readathons are down below. And yeah, so tell me what you plan on reading in the month of July, and if you're participating in the Reading Rush or Karetathon, I would love to know what your picks are. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.